today? Oh, I'm feeling a bit rotten, to be honest. Not so great. Well, that's no good. Do you know why you're feeling that way? Yeah, I guess I could pinpoint it. But that doesn't make me feel any better. Sometimes knowing why we're feeling a certain way can help us to feel better, but sometimes also just looking around or thinking about positive things can help you feel better as well. Yeah, look, I guess you're right. I must admit, just talking to you is making me feel better right now. Well, that's good. Thanks. Sometimes a conversation with someone will help you to work through your feelings. Emotional literacy isn't just about how you're feeling, but it's also about being able to recognise the feelings in other people and help them work through their emotions so they can recognise how they're feeling and, and find things to help them feel better. Um, when you're in your classroom, you can look around the classroom and recognise how your classmates might be feeling. If there's someone sad or angry or frustrated, recognising that can help you to then help them to work through those emotions so they can you know, move through the um, process and come out in a positive mind frame. So the challenge this week across our college is for you to see if you can keep your eyes out for somebody at break or play times who maybe needs your help. See if there's somebody who's down or angry or upset, what could you actually do to help turn their behaviour around? Maybe you could talk to them, play with them, just sit with them. What can you actually do to help somebody with their emotional literacy? Remember, managing emotions is about recognising those negative emotions, softening them, finding the positive emotion and um, working on improving that and just thinking about that aspect. Yeah, Ms Wilson, do you know uh, managing your own emotions or helping somebody else with theirs is actually a really difficult thing to do. But if you take some time to make the effort to do that, you can actually help turn somebody to move around. And that potentially keeps them very safe. Yeah, that's right. Safety isn't just about your physical safety, it's also about your mental safety. And being able to um, recognise your emotions and other people's and focus on positive means that people are more able to cha um, meet challenges or obstacles in their life and overcome them and still feel positive about the world around them, which is really important for mental safety. So don't forget this week's challenge. Keep your eyes open for somebody who might need your help at break times. What could you do to help turn their mood around? What can you do to help keep them safe in our school? Ms Wilton, I actually feel so much better just having had this chat with you. Thanks so much. No worries, anytime.